Okay, back at Jackson. Now we're going backwards. To look at the pipes backwards. And what you see is the cast iron is rotting out on the bottom. You notice how it looks? That nice trench right there? Look at that. That is insane. So everything they flush, just like this toilet paper right here, is going to get stuck in your line. Oh my god. And then you, uh, this spot here, I would, I would consider, what is that? What is that? Looks like a little toy there off to the side. The, the pipe is broken on the bottom here. Coming back from them clean outs. Um, wow. Uh, yeah, you can see it there. Uh, uh, there should never be water setting in your drain on the inside. It should be like a water slide. Here's some more solids. So that's telling me the line is flat. It's just sitting there. So uh, water pressure is what moves it. There's tons of uh, solids here. So, wow. And, and the pipe being broke is what does that. Also pay close attention or special attention to the line on the side. It's like a, a, the ring of the bathtub. Like, so you know that this line has been backed up several, several, several times before. Of course we know that because of the outside. That's probably what stained it like that. But this line is, wow. It's seen its better days. Um, uh, I'm sorry. Wow. It almost looks like dirt. This pipe is a quarter full of debris and then of course you had spots now I'm coming up to the stack the, back, the toilet stack but or excuse me I apologize I believe it is the kitchen stack by the laundry I'm gonna find out right now Now, you see when the water starts coming from the laundry, see how it picks, it fills the whole screen. This line, it should be no water in this line. It should just flow. And we should stay above water. When it's flowing. But because the bottom of the pipe is broken in spots, and it's cast iron, it rots from the inside out. So whenever they flush or run anything, um, that's when uh, you're gonna notice more and more backups that are gonna occur, unfortunately, from within inside the house, of course, because uh, you, you, as you've seen, it was, it was uh, uh, good outside, but as we pull back here, that's an interesting spot. Okay, okay. See how it's just sitting there? I kind of, kind of like that spot a little. But as we make the turn coming back towards me here, we go right back under water. It's, it's amazing. Um, there you go. That's a good picture. Now, now that's water coming at me. I, I, I like that. That's the way it's supposed to look. But when you are totally engulfed in water, the bottom of the pipe is cooked. And I'm only four feet away from my opening here. And then it goes, look at, see what I mean? See what I mean? It goes from nice and beautiful, which is 
weird. It just so happens to be a good spot part of the pipe that my camera stopped on because this is the way it's supposed to look. And then all of a sudden, goodbye, Mary Jane. And uh, you can see how if you look through the water, uh, the bottom, it looks like little rocks, but it's not. It's actually the cast iron rotting away. And then the pipe was put in the ground when the house was built. So at that point, you would get, uh, what do you call that? A dedicated impression in the ground because the pipe is underneath the cement and it'll stay like that until the water starts to wash away the dirt and then you will end up with some really uh, big problems. Uh, but right now it is flowing. Um, I will put together an estimate. I believe that was 27 feet for new PVC from the main cleanouts leaving your house back to that kitchen stack 27 feet. And there is one branch here that I see from a, uh, it's all PVC. Uh, it's pro it would be maybe another four feet, five feet to get over to it. And I would change that also because just because, and then all, all your under floor would be, uh, all PVC inside and beautiful outside. All right. I'll get back with you. Thank you. My name's Charlie Baker.